Hello everybody. Welcome to Blender Days. In this video, we will see about a very popular add-on, Lily Surface Scrapper. To download this add-on, visit to the link provided in the description, which takes you to the GitHub website. Make sure you are downloading the latest version. This page contains more details about this add-on. Don't forget to check it. This add-on supports in three areas in Blender. First is with materials, second is with HDRI background, and third one is with IES on lighting. Now we see about how to download this add-on. After visiting the GitHub website, click on the latest button and scroll down to the zip file. Click on the zip file, the download starts automatically. Once the download is over, go to Blender Preferences and Add-on section. Press the Install button on top and navigate to the downloaded folder. Select the zip file and press the Install Add-on button. Once the installation is over, activate the add-on by clicking on the checkbox. Then click on the tiny arrow to expand it. Here we need to assign a folder. So the add-on will save downloaded materials, HDRI and IES files in this location. Here I am assigning my Lily Surface folder. From my D drive. This add-on is not placed in end panel. This exists in material section under properties panel. Click on the material section in properties panel. Scroll down. There you can find this add-on. This add-on gets materials from four websites. Those are ambientcg.com, cgbookcase.com, polyheaven.com slash structures, 3dassets.1. Click on the 3D assets button. It will open the website in your system's default web browser. Look for the needed materials in the page and select one. Once the material download page is opened, just copy the URL from the browser's address bar. Now switch to Blender in Lily add-on section. Click on the import from clipboard button. It will get access to the material through URL on clipboard. This time it shows some error. We can report a bug. We can try some other method. This time click on the import surface. Click on to paste the URL by pressing Ctrl V. Then press OK. This also shows some error and asks us to refer the document. We go for some other material. I am picking a material from ambient CG for the kitchen floor. Copy the materials URL from address bar. Switch to Blender and select the model. In Lily add-on section, click on import surface button. Paste URL and click OK. Once the material page is accessed, it will show the select variant list. From there, you can select your materials in 1K, 2K, up to 8K, depending on the availability to download. I am selecting 2K and click on the OK button. That's it. This add-on automatically downloaded and applies the material to your Blender model. You can make adjustments to the material on Blender shading window. Here I am changing the size value from 0 to 5. The mapping node. Wow, how exciting this is. Within a short period of time, we have downloaded and applied materials with few clicks. Now trying to load materials for kitchen wall. Same process. Visit the materials page. Copy URL. In Blender, select the wall. and click on import from clipboard button. Then select 1K and press OK. Let's try some more materials.
copy URL. Click on import from clipboard button. And adjust the material if needed. Now applying materials for oven front door. Select oven door and visit the website. Searching for metal material. Once selected, copy the URL. Click on import from clipboard and select the variant click OK. Material is applied and it needs to adjust the rough surface. Go to the shading window and adjust the height value in displacement node. Also adjusting the size value in map node. Now the room is ready, you can start rendering. Apply more materials and get the desired visual result. So far, we applied materials on surface. It's time to change to apply the materials to the environment with HDRI. Click on the old properties in the properties panel. Expand the lily surface scrapper section. It has access for polyheaven.com slash HDRIS. Another one is 3dassets.one. Open polyheaven. Select the HDRI. Copy the URL. Click on the import old button and paste it and press OK button. Select the variant and press OK. Now the HDRI is loaded into scene. To check it, go to the shading panel and check. HDRI is loaded and it is visible here as an environment. You can adjust it by rotating the Z rotation on the mapping node. When you make changes in HDRI, the kitchen lighting also changes. In material tab, you have this thumbnail preview button which shows all the downloaded materials via Lily add-on.
Manually, you can select the materials which are already loaded. To change the HDRA, you need to click on Old Properties panel to change the HDRA under Lily Add-on section. Now we will see about Lily Surface Scraper IE or on Lighting. You need to select a light, then only in Light Properties panel the Lily Add-on will appear. It has access to ieslibrary.com. Here I am selecting an area light already created. Click IES Library button to visit the website. Click on Browse Library button on the web page. I am clicking on the 43 watts light and selecting the URL and copying it. Switch to Blender under light section, click on the import light button. Paste the URL and press OK. The IES light is loaded, but it is not affecting the light. The result is not visible because HDRA light is still on. And also other light in from the scene are also on. The IES light you can see here in shader editor under object section. The IES light is loaded with some nodes which contains temperature and strength adjustments. Select scene light and world light on the render settings. Still we cannot see the IES lighting effects. Add some more light and check the result. To see the IES light effect, no HDRI is added to the world section. And to turn on both scene and the world lights. Load the 43 watts IES light and render the scene. We can see the IES light alone in the scene. With the render result, Lily Surface Scraper add-on is very very useful for texturing, environment and light settings. If this add-on is useful for you, please consider donating to the developers. Thank you. Have a great day.